When northern Ugandans returned home after two decades of war, there was very little infrastructure and commerce to support them. Well, Crossroads Relief and Development rolled up our sleeves, and we've been working in this decimated region since 2006, helping to rebuild, provide clean water, and food security, as well as equip farmers to be more profitable and productive. Today, we meet Agnes, a very motivated recipient of our highly successful agricultural program. Agnes is a success story, one of the best we've seen. After completing her first year in our agricultural program, she's been able to send her kids to school, finish cementing her home, support an orphan, buy oxen and a bike, and even launch a few businesses. The changes in her life I, I have seen, she's very happy. Uh, she can afford anything she wants. And what I've seen, she can even afford to take her children, even to, to get medical treatment. Although Agnes is exceptional, she is not unique. As Crossroads Relief and Development has worked to help rebuild Uganda's devastated north, we've been continually amazed at the entrepreneurial spirit of its people, an attribute that likely helped them survive the two decades long civil war, often in IDP camps with deplorable conditions. You can imagine if you left your home for 20 years, uh, can you imagine how your place would look after 20 years? Well, these were just overgrown and when we uh, talked to people and, and met with communities, they said, you know, we can build our own homes again. That's not how we need help, but we, we need something to eat. And we don't have anything. We don't have seeds, we don't have tools. Our land is overgrown for 20 years, so we've got to now do the hard work of clearing our land and how can you help us? So that's how we got started was the desperate needs that these families were facing as they moved back to their traditional villages. Crossroads Agricultural Program identifies the neediest people in a community and then works with them to make sure they receive the training, tools, seeds, and experience to make their business a success. Basically, we said, listen, you clear your land, clear an acre of land, and we'll come in with tractors and plow it for you, work up the ground, get it ready for planting. We'll give you hand tools, and we'll give you seeds so you can plant your crop. And then they would go through one season, and, and that would kind of get them started. And the other part of it was we said, listen, we'll come back a second time. If you want to clear one more acre, we'll once again plow that for you. And you've got the hand tools, but we'll give you more seeds to plant that crop. And the impact of that shouldn't be underestimated. It can take people here a month to clear and till their land by hand. But when Crossroads sends in a tractor, their field is finished in a couple of hours. The traditional way of our farming system is not actually quite much improving the sustainability of our people. That's why I'm involved in this one, because the tractors, it can done a lot of work in a little hours or in a few days, rather than the traditional method. With over 2,000 families helped since 2006, David Shelley says watching people gain a sustainable and independent life they could only have dreamed of previously is incredibly rewarding. It's wonderful to see them thrive, not just barely survive. It's not really how we want them to end up. We want them to thrive. So some of them, yeah, it's, it's just amazing, all the little businesses and how their stature from being in the village, the, you know, the one that you might shun because of they're always so needy to all of a sudden they're they're just a, a thriving part of the community and they have it just their dignity has been restored that's probably what I sense is they have a dignity to their life now instead of being beaten down and beaten up and and feeling like failures and being oppressed by you know rebel leaders and and now they have some dignity to their life and and I think that's that's God's plan as Agnes thrives in her new life, Crossroads Relief and Development has identified a hundred other families who desperately need that fresh start. If you would like to participate in lifting families out of extreme poverty in Uganda, please go to our website at crossroads.ca. Uh, she wants to appreciate so much the assistance that has been rendered to her to take her to the level where she is, and she wants to encourage those ones who have been giving the assistance that they should continue to help other people as well, so that uh, other people can also benefit. 
Well, Agnes' story in Uganda really reflects a story about you and your support, your, your prayers, your financial giving, and your belief in our organization at Crossroads Relief and, Relief and Development to deliver. And one of the deliverers that we have is Chester Van Heusen, who joins us here. Chester, it's great to see you. You yeah. are a farmer, but you are also an activist. Yes. And uh, you uh, spend time farming in those farming seasons in Canada, but then when the, when, when the opportunity comes, like I think in the near future, you head off to places to help people like That's Agnes right. and her That's tribes, right. her cultures, her communities. Yes, exactly. And, and watching Agnes' story, John, is so inspiring to think that the little input that we put in um, through, through the generous donations of people that support Crossroads and then we, we handle those finances mm -hmm. and we, we invest that in, in seeds and tools and you know, plowing land, as, as, you, as you just heard on the, on the clip. And, um, and watching a woman who has, has spent probably a good part of her life in dire poverty and struggling, her husband might have, might have died or even left her. And so here she is, a single mother, raising five children. Yeah. And, and, and look what she has done with the little that was put in her hand. And to me, that's very inspiring. And you talk about activism, you know, and the Bible talks about faith. That faith, you know, faith in and of itself is not, is not, not, not enough. We, we, it has to be faith with action. That's right. So that's where the whole idea of activism comes in. I think Crossroads is one of the greatest activist, activistic organizations in Canada and, and maybe North America. Uh, you're so encouraging to, to, to share that uh, with not only women but our, but, our, but our audience. What are the two or three things that we've done? And maybe the video reflects it, but I'd love to hear from you. I think our people would too. What are the two or three things that, three things that we've done that have been catalytic in, in, in Uganda when it comes to, say, water and, uh, and, and the farming work? That well, we're I, know, I know with water, John, um, as, as we shared so often here uh, at 100 Huntley Street and, and through Crossroads Missions, you know, it's, it's great to be able to help people provide food for themselves, but water is equally important. In fact, without clean water, you know, disease and, and problems are rampant. And uh, Crossroads has been able to help drill hundreds of wells and repair hundreds of wells in northern Uganda since 2007. And, you know, the people, the, 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 the dramatic impact and change that takes place in people's lives and, and in their health and in their, their overall well-being is, is dramatic. And not only the water, but the food, like the key... Um, you know, the investment of, of seeds and tools and plowing two acres of land, it catapults people into a whole new way of living from poverty, from minus into, into something that's plus. It literally changes their lives. It changes their lives. Yeah. Chester, what about the, um, I, I see tractors from time to time, uh, things that we've done that have sped up the process appropriately so, so that they can take advantage of growing seasons. Yes, and Crossroads has sent a number of tractors over, actually uh, about nine or ten tractors from this part of the world, and we've purchased tractors in Uganda as well. How fast does that, well, how, how fast of a difference does it make compared to where they're just there uh, digging well, into the well, ground? Well, can you imagine putting a hoe in your hand and trying to hoe an acre of land? You've got stubborn grasses and that. Yeah. It can take up to a half a month Stones. to a month. Yeah. I mean, for an elderly person or a, a widow or somebody mm -hmm. that is, is struggling with limited amount of time because she's got to look after everything else, she's got to go fetch water, right. imagine how hard it is to plow an acre of land, to till an acre of land with a hoe. It's almost impossible. So a tractor can get in there and in a couple of hours, at the most, four hours, they can plow an acre of land. Yeah. And it's ready. It's ready to go. And here we go. They can begin to plant the seeds and, 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 right. and, and go through the process and really have a life that they never experienced before, a, a sense of independence, a, a sense of appropriate pride and dignity in their lives. That's right. And, and you know, John, it's part of God's plan for His children. He loves his children. He loves all people. And you know, we have such a privilege. I mean, to me, this is what motivates me. The privilege of being a part of the solution. Yeah. Part of the solution. Right. And so when we, when we invest $100 in, to help one family get back up on their feet agriculturally, right. imagine seeds, tools, and plowing their land for two years. That $100 goes a long ways because it, what it does is it puts people into a place where they begin to thrive. Remember, Dave Shelley was just sharing that on the, right. on the, on the clip. Right. Moving from sur barely surviving to thriving. If you would like to be involved with us in this kind of partnership, you'd like to make a gift, there's a, there's a phone number as well as a website 
where you can make a secure online donation to help us in this area of, of what we call missions of relief and development, where literally we can go in with your financial support with our partnerships here and on the ground like Chester and those in Uganda, and we can make other people's lives better. Uh, Chester, we are grateful for everyone's prayers, for their financial support. When you're going to Uganda this time, what, do you, what are you going to need when, as you go in the, in the near future? Well, you know, we're, at, we're, we're basically um, starting a, a new phase again where right. we'd like to get another 100 families, you know, right. fired up and, and equipped with seeds and tools. And so that's going to need, you know, 100 families times about $120 Canadian because $120 these days, $120 yeah, yeah. Canadian translates into $100 yeah. American. Right, right. And so, but if we can do that, and if I can come with some good news in about three, four weeks' time and say, you know what, we've got the funds to start another 100 families, that would be fantastic. I, w I would love that. What do you say we rally together and do that? Would you, would you join Chester and me? in this adventure. We really would appreciate it because we believe that helping people in the name of Jesus Christ like this not only has a spiritual power, but it also has a very practical power. Chester, just um, look into the camera here, just with a final challenge in the next few seconds as to what you'd love to see people do. Well, you know, um, I, I'm, I'm very much like you are, and I'm sure you are like myself. And one of the things that really motivates me is that I want to feel like I've fulfilled my destiny in this life. And you know, one of the things that Jesus said was, if you do good to others, you know, God would just multiply that good back to you over and over and over again. And you know, to, to care for your neighbor, who's your neighbor? Well, it could be somebody on the other side of the planet, it could be your next door neighbor. So I'm asking you today, if you would just reach out and give the very best you could and just do whatever you can do, what God has put in your heart and in your hand to help somebody in desperate need. And I tell you, you will begin to sense that you are fulfilling your destiny in Jesus and under God. Chester, thank you so much. We love and appreciate you. What a marvelous partner. And we look forward to talking to you soon after you get back and getting an update. Thank you so much. And please give, help us. Go to that website, call that number, and make a $100, $120 gift that helps Chester and the team uh, provide help in Uganda in a very mm -hmm. tangible, practical way. Good, good time together. Thank, thank you, you so much. So much.